I will be drawing to your attention um, things such as recent activity by the SRA, um, which will be particularly relevant, of course, if you are part of the legal sector, new guidance which has been issued uh, and also approved um, by government uh, issued by uh, the legal sector um, affinity guidance and also the um, accounting guidance, some developments in the area of suspicious activity reporting. I also will want to draw to your attention some recent um, or new HM Treasury notices in the area of high risk third countries. And then finally, to wrap up, I will be summing up with some considerations that you should be thinking of um, in the light of this activity in the past six to 12 months. Now, for those of you who um, have experience of um, the regime where you are requesting consent um, to do something or defence against money laundering or DAML, um, this information um, might be of practical use to you um, because according, according to the NCA report, um, the average turnaround time for a response um, to a SAR or a, a DAML was sought was about four days. Um, and, and so that um, is actually down from the previous year. So it's about four days to expect a response. Um, and uh, of the, the, the DAML requests that were received, the NCA were able to decide about 82% of those requests. So if you are involved in that type of transactional work for which you, you do require a DAML, I think that's quite encouraging, um, not just the length of time, um, but the fact that in about 82% of, of times, um, the NCA was able to decide those. Um, if you are new to the regulated sector, if indeed if you're new to AML compliance, um, familiarise yourself with your firm's risk assessment. Um, if, you're, if you're new to doing any kind of regulated work, do treat your firm's risk assessment as the best guide um, of how money laundering risk could emerge um, in your work, what sort of clients are judged to be particularly risky, um, what kind of transactions are considered normal at that firm or um, what might be slightly out of the ordinary. Um, look to that first because then that really ought to inform um, your um, approach to your client and matter risk assessment. If you have a, a decent understanding of where the potential problems are um, at the firm level, 